Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited about this video because it's homeware related and we went to Ikea yesterday. So if you wanna see what I picked up, then keep watching. So if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Charlotte, this is my house and we are in the process of finally updating our living room, um, which is just over there that way, um, in another room in the house and it's been hit massively from when we renovated here in this part and also we've rewired recently so it was plastered yesterday and we went to Ikea to be out of the way of the plasterer because it was a Sunday and we picked up a few bits for our like new living space and little bits that we needed. We also went to look at furniture. However, annoyingly, the things that we want, the doors for one of the units is currently out of stock. So fingers crossed that that comes back in stock for a scene. Um, I've got stock notifications set up and all sorts. But I thought I would in the meantime at least show you what we did pick up. There are a few little random bits thrown in and little bits that made me a bit excited. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to show you is probably the biggest thing, um, which is quite difficult to show you. So I will probably have to try and get this on screen for you in some way, shape or form. Although I feel like the picture on screen probably won't give it justice because um, it was so nice in store. And it was one of those, you know when you see something in store and it looks completely different as it does to on the website and then you're like, oh my God, that's so nice. Uh, but it's a rug, I'm sure you can tell. It's quite a, a big one, a large one. It is the Petersburg. Um, 133 by 195 centimeters, so that's four foot four by six foot five. And I don't know if you can tell. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna drop it it's so heavy from this image here. It's like a sort of muted, creamy color, but it has tufted fabric. Can you see this like slight tufty bit here? I don't want to take it out because we've still got loads of decorating to do, so I don't want to damage it. But I will try and leave a photo. But I think it was. 80 pounds which for a rug of this size in particular is a um, really good value um we i love a rug um we have hardwood flooring or like um lvt in here my other half really really wants carpet in our living room i would rather have this because i just find it easier like upkeep it lasts longer and stuff especially with kids and pets but he was like you can take my dignity but you can't take my carpets um that was a joke by the way <laughs> so um we agreed yeah we go for carpet but i still wanted a rug because a i think they add extra coziness and a bit of like extra color and texture to a room and um they can be really expensive like I've been looking around all sorts of places and there's not really been anything that's sort of sucked me in quite like that for such a good price. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing. Just realised I left a few bits in another room, one sec. So while I'm holding her, I think she's a she. <laughs> On this. Um, the pot and the plant obviously you buy separately uh, but I really really liked this beautiful green coloured and it's slightly ribbed pot and um, then I brought this beauty to go inside because I used to be this is an Aspidistra I mean that could be a plant name or it could be a Ikea name who knows if you're a plant uh, expert educate me in the comments below but um, I used to buy fake plants all the time and I still do have a bit of, um, is it faker? What is that what they call it? Fekia? Fekia? Or something. You know, like, it's in, it's in Ikea. I'm sure you've seen it. There's a sign actually, I'll include a clip. But, um, I have a few in places where I just feel like it's easier. But if you've followed me for any length of time, you'll know that I became a bit of a gardening fanatic uh, this year. And um, I do have quite a few living plants now. We have a monstera back there who needs repotting again because she's just huge um, and wants to be bigger. She's putting roots out everywhere, like onto my floor. And I'm like, baby, not gonna find anywhere to grow there. But I did pick this up and this will be living in our living room. And then the other things um, that I'm gonna show you next that I forgot to bring in are frames. And I've actually put a few of my prints in there already purely because I knew they'd be safer in a frame than like rolled up, which is what they have been. So I actually 
had been planning this room for quite a long time but we just you know you have to wait for funds you have to wait for like the necessities to be done like the rewiring and plastering and stuff but i bought loads of these frames so we have um the fisk bow this is the 30 by 40 centimeter and then i think i've got the 40 by 50 but they're only a few pounds and no they're not the most expensive frames in the world this that and the other but as you'll see when i show you the ones that i've framed in a moment they just look great and they're so affordable so easy to put in and out and you just need to take the film off both sides of the um like it's, it's actually plastic the front bit which actually gives me comfort if they ever should fall off um but they look great so this is what it looks like when it's not been used and inside that i'm going to put a print of our first dance um some music and then the other ones that i have are just from ones from well two are from Designio, 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 I don't know what it's called. So I've got this one, which is um like a print of an acrylic called Le Jardin. And I just really love the colours of that. And again, it just I think it looks great. You still get shine as you can see from my ring light, and they're gonna look lovely in that room. And then I also have this Henri Henri Rousseau. Uh, the Equatorial Jungle 1909, um, this one. I actually like this print so much that we also have it in our upstairs bathroom as well, but that's that one. Um, and I put those in already. And then this is like a fun little story. This is the bigger frame. When it was mine and Mark's first year anniversary, because we've only been married a year despite all the kids and stuff. So if you know, like I, I understand if you're confused. Um, but yeah, we got married in 2021 and then this year we went out for our anniversary. And we went back to Manchester, which is kind of where we met. And um, we went to this lovely restaurant. And while we were eating, there was this huge print on the wall. And I'm talking like probably double the size of this, maybe actually maybe four times the size. It was massive. And it was a lady um, that says, she she's stunning and it says i drink to make other people more interesting and we just found it really funny um and i managed to find a version of it and i just love it i love the vintagey style of it i love the humor we all have like a sense of humor in this house and um just thought it was really cool so i have it uh, with this red background you can also get it in like green i think you can maybe get it in blue and stuff obviously this is just a print um, but I just love it. I think she is just, I just want to embody her. Look at that, look at that lady. But obviously, yeah, that was from Etsy, but the print itself, um, yeah, the print itself was from Etsy and this was from Ikea in the front. So I just wanted to go and get something else as well so I could show you properly. So again, when I was like thinking ahead for this room and planning it and getting ideas of colors and stuff, cause that's like, I, I love decorating rooms and spaces and stuff. Um, I started getting an idea of what I wanted and I was looking for cushion covers. And they were just, some of them were so hard to come by in like reasonable prices. And I actually went on Shein and I bought a few of their, pushing your covers <laughs> messing my words up today and i took a gamble so i thought i would show you anyway but i'm going for like a bit of a botanical theme in this room and like i promise it might look a bit all like slapdash now but it, it'll come together it'll come together and i'm not afraid of prints and i'm not afraid of like color and and things like that we're, we're gonna we're gonna have fun with this room so i have a few of these this is one i really like this one it's very william morrissey and i love the little tassels and um, we have just this one which is like a soft textured cream this is the only one that i think is a bit pants so i swear it cost me about one one pound 99 it doesn't look that bad on camera but in person it just looks a bit because it's been printed on in such a way that it, it looks like a, I don't know, like a printing on a piece of paper. But I feel like maybe with an innard, like cushion filler, it'll work. And then I have this one, which I love. I think this one's really cool. I really like that one with like the pops of lemon and stuff. And then the final one, again, is just another creamy textured one, which is just very my kind of vibe. But to go with them, obviously I have cushions already that to be honest they're looking a bit worse for wear and maybe a bit flat but my intention is to reuse as much of the um you know the fillers as as possible because it saves waste uh, but i did buy two just to have because i do feel like some of the existing cushions are just not gonna 
last very well. You know when they go really, really flat and um, they're not really cushiony anymore, they're just like pancakes. So I did buy two of these. They're so affordable from Ikea. Um, these are the 50 by 50 centimetre ones. They've got two and if I do need to get more, um, when we eventually find stock of the furniture that we're looking for, I can always pop and get that if we go and collect it or order them online. But fingers crossed I won't need to and we can reuse what we've already got. The next few things are a bit random. Mark bought this, one of those things uh that's called a bastis if you were wondering and nearly every time i go i will pick up some of their faux eucalyptus like it, I, I just i love it in terms of stuff that actually looks realistic um when you've like flattened it all out and styled it and stuff the ikea things are always some of the best quality i've found and um i love these i have a huge thing for green and greenery at the moment and these are just great to stick in a vase and with christmas coming up i love this kind of tone um and i just wanted to get some more to have because i've got a few vases knocking around and you can add a bit of texture and height and color with these so i've got two of those this i was really excited about this is a big ikea 365 plus kind of big soup pan thing uh two reasons why i bought this is that i don't have anything quite this deep so you know when you're making batch cooking like i can batch cook but the pans i've got aren't the biggest and i feel like i could do a better job sometimes plus i'm hosting christmas this year and i want to make jamie oliver's get ahead gravy and i need to make a lot of it because i've got a fair few people coming and last year i ended up using like two different pans and i made a huge mess and i know that if i have this i'm going to stick it all in there because it's twice the size of my head um i think this is the 10 litre one you can get bigger but i thought that this was plenty um and it comes with a lid and um yeah i'm just really very quite pleased about it and um, that was on my my big list of uh, things to pick up and i was so glad when i got my hands on that i got one of these because i want to be one of those girls that puts their fabric conditioner in here too i'm going to be brutally honest with you that's that's why i bought it um i always never saw the point but it's got to me i have a label maker as well so maybe i'll put a label on it who knows but um you know if that doesn't work out it's like a little carafe really or you can like store like orange juice or milk or a smoothie if you make smoothies and or, or cold brew you can put cold brew in here um but yeah i bought that and i'm actually really excited to put my fabric conditioner in there later next two things are quite fun they're two separate things the first one is just this mat um they had loads of these and um i just wanted to get it mainly for you know when you're taking things to the table sometimes and they're a bit hot um i used to have two that were very very flimsy and um when you put hot things on instead of doing the job they melted so i got this one because it's a lot thicker and a bit more like sturdy so i got that just for like serving dishes that will come in handy at christmas as well and then the next thing i got was this um and this is going to be great for like you know when you have people around you're having a meal and stuff and you can put things in the middle and um, it reminds me of a chinese restaurant actually that i used to go to when i was younger and they had one of these but like huge in the middle of the table and if you had like their buffet thing and you were sharing you could just spin it around and pick a bit and spin it back to somebody else and um i love the concept and this is really affordable so i picked one up to have in because i thought it was really like handy really you could also use them in your cupboards for like you know condiments or tins and spin it around to find the one that you need but for me it'd probably be used for serving purposes and i'm very excited about that the next two things that we picked up with these wine glasses i get asked about my wine glasses all the time now these are the red wine ones i don't use these as much because i don't drink red wine but when we got the kitchen done we realized when we were putting everything back in that we didn't have any matching wine glasses basically they were all just really mismatched and um we took lots of things to the charity shop and we got two white wine glasses from um ikea and two red wine so 
basically for the last couple of years we've only had four wine glasses and then like prosecco glasses and things like that but i just thought with christmas coming around the corner we should probably up that slightly so i managed to get two of the red ones but they didn't have any of the white and they are gorgeous like these are like wide and then flat at the bottom i love the style i think they're really really elegant but let me get you the white ones and you'll see what i mean it's a very active haul this isn't it um so this one is the white one but honestly every time say if i'm on instagram and like i share a photo of like a glass of wine like you know when you're like oh, you know that friday feeling um everybody always asks where they're from i love the flat bottom and the way that they taper up it's they're just so cute and they had none left in stock so i was fuming um but again if we do place that order i will order a couple more of these because they are great and they are so sturdy as well because while they're elegant they're not super super thin so they're not likely to break and they do have matching prosecco glasses which i was tempted by but we already have prosecco glasses and we didn't need them so yeah we got three pint glasses um self-explanatory really we needed more pint glasses we only have two for a similar reason with the wine glasses really so that's those and then oh i'm dropping everything and then we got this uh, tupperware tub um mark picked this up and i'm presuming it's for leftovers because i make a lot of leftovers and we will have them for lunch and it's a really good size actually you know to put like meals in for us to share at lunchtime that's really what we do um so yeah we picked that up and then the thing i dropped was this i already have one of these um but they're really sturdy and they're super cheap and it's just like a spatula basically for cooking but it's like my favorite one and you know when you're like i don't want to be without that so i'm going to pick up another one and i think it was like a couple of pounds so got that as well and then on to furniture so i can't really show you this in the box so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to build this and then i'll come back and show you um but it's a little corner table for in our living room when it's all done to go next to our new sofa so we've just got somewhere to put like a drink or i don't know light controllers that kind of thing so we picked up this and it's actually a bit of an unusual color and i really love this it will be so easy to move around the base um is obviously like a metal frame and then the top is a colored wood if it looks a bit shiny it's just because i've given it a wipe down but we're going to model it here with a coffee there we go and i have a really similar one actually in here that is white they're so versatile they're super cheap and i think it's going to look really nice in the room and then i got this plant stand which was also on my list there weren't very many left so i was actually really really pleased to find them there are only like four left and i can you know things go so quickly um but i will even though you can see a picture i will build this as well and show you and um then we can wrap up this haul so this is the plant stand and i'm so pleased with it as you can probably tell from how i like to style my home in general um it's right up my street i love all the natural materials i love that look and i've got a big collection of plants that can live on here i've put a couple on for you you know just to model it there's another one and let me stand back uh, but this is going to be full of plants and living in the living room when it's done so that is the end of this video i hope you found it useful and also like let me know if you want to see like living room updates and stuff or a tour when it's done or what kind of content interests you um in that respect when it comes to the house and uh, yeah thank you so so much for watching i hope you have a lovely rest of your day